In this podcast episode, financial expert Dave Ramsey delves into a variety of topics, ranging from the economic policies of political figures like Donald Trump and Kamala Harris to the insidious tactics employed by banks to ensnare consumers in debt. Throughout the conversation, Ramsey shares his insights on personal finance, the national debt, and the moral obligations of employers, all while emphasizing the importance of financial literacy and responsibility. Ramsey begins by discussing the contrasting economic policies of Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. He notes that Trump's approach is characterized by clear, predictable policies that can stimulate economic growth. Trump's focus on tax cuts and deregulation is designed to create an environment where businesses can thrive. Ramsey argues that this predictability is crucial for small business owners who make up a significant portion of the economy. When business owners feel confident about the future, they are more likely to invest in their companies, hire new employees, and contribute to economic growth. In contrast, Ramsey expresses concern about the ambiguity surrounding Kamala Harris's economic plans. He believes that the lack of clarity can create uncertainty in the market, leading to a slowdown in economic activity. When business owners are unsure about the rules of the game, they may hesitate to make investments or hire new staff. This unpredictability can have a detrimental effect on the economy as it stifles growth and innovation. Ramsey emphasizes that a stable economic environment is essential for fostering prosperity, and he fears that Harris's policies may not provide that stability. The conversation shifts to the national debt, which Ramsey views as a significant issue facing the United States. He highlights the alarming levels of debt that the country has accumulated and the implications it has for future generations. Ramsey argues that the national debt represents a failure of leadership and a lack of fiscal responsibility. He believes that both political parties have contributed to this problem by overspending and failing to make tough decisions about budget priorities. Ramsey also points out that the national debt is not just a number on a balance sheet. It has real consequences for everyday Americans. As the government continues to borrow money, taxpayers will ultimately bear the burden of repaying that debt. This can lead to higher taxes, reduced public services, and a diminished quality of life for citizens. Ramsey stresses the importance of addressing the national debt and advocates for a more responsible approach to government spending. In discussing personal finance, Ramsey emphasizes the importance of understanding and managing personal debt. He notes that many Americans are trapped in a cycle of debt, often due to credit card usage and student loans. Ramsey points out that the average American carries a significant amount of credit card debt, which can lead to financial stress and anxiety. He believes that individuals must take responsibility for their financial decisions and work towards becoming debt-free. Ramsey advocates for a proactive approach to managing debt, encouraging individuals to create a budget and stick to it. He suggests that people should prioritize paying off high-interest debt first, as this can help them regain control of their finances. By taking charge of their financial situation, individuals can break free from the cycle of debt and work towards building wealth. Ramsey's message is clear. Financial literacy and discipline are essential for achieving financial freedom. One of the more alarming topics Ramsey addresses is the aggressive marketing tactics employed by credit card companies. He reveals that these companies spend more on advertising than any other industry, including professional sports. This relentless marketing creates a culture where credit cards are normalized and seen as a necessary part of life. Ramsey argues that this normalization leads to increased consumer debt as people are encouraged to spend beyond their means. Ramsey also highlights the predatory nature of credit card companies, which often target vulnerable populations, including college students. He recalls his own experience of receiving unsolicited credit card offers while in school, emphasizing that these companies are more interested in profits than in the financial well-being of their customers. He believes that consumers must be aware of these tactics and take steps to protect themselves from falling into debt traps. The discussion then turns to the concept of credit scores, which Ramsey argues is a flawed system. He explains that credit scores are primarily based on an individual's debt history 
rather than their overall financial health. This means that people who avoid debt may find themselves at a disadvantage when it comes to obtaining loans or mortgages. Ramsey believes that this system perpetuates a cycle of debt, as individuals feel pressured to take on debt in order to build their credit scores. Ramsey encourages listeners to focus on building wealth rather than worrying about their credit scores. He argues that individuals can obtain mortgages and loans without relying on credit scores, particularly through manual underwriting processes. By shifting the focus away from credit scores and towards financial responsibility, Ramsey believes that individuals can achieve greater financial success. Student loans are another area of concern for Ramsey, who believes that they contribute to the financial struggles of many young Americans. He points out that the average student loan debt has reached staggering levels, leaving graduates with significant financial burdens. Ramsey argues that the current system encourages students to take on debt without fully understanding the long-term implications. Ramsey advocates for a more responsible approach to education financing, encouraging students to consider alternatives to traditional college paths. He believes that vocational training and apprenticeships can provide valuable skills without the burden of student debt. By exploring different educational options, young people can avoid the pitfalls of student loans and set themselves up for financial success. In discussing consumer debt, Ramsey also addresses the issue of car leasing. He explains that leasing is often marketed as an affordable option, but in reality, it can be one of the most expensive ways to finance a vehicle. Ramsey argues that leasing perpetuates a cycle of debt, as individuals are essentially renting a car rather than owning it outright. This can lead to ongoing payments and a lack of equity in the vehicle. Ramsey encourages consumers to consider the long-term financial implications of leasing. He suggests that individuals should aim to purchase used vehicles rather than leasing new ones, as this can save money in the long run. By making informed decisions about car financing, consumers can avoid falling into the trap of perpetual payments and build equity in their vehicles. Throughout the podcast, Ramsey emphasizes the importance of budgeting as a fundamental tool for financial success. He believes that creating a budget allows individuals to take control of their finances and make informed decisions about spending. Ramsey encourages listeners to track their income and expenses, identifying areas where they can cut back and save money. Ramsey also highlights the psychological benefits of budgeting. He explains that having a clear financial plan can reduce stress and anxiety as individuals gain a better understanding of their financial situation. By taking the time to create and stick to a budget, individuals can work towards their financial goals and achieve greater peace of mind. The conversation shifts to the responsibilities of employers towards their employees. Ramsey believes that employers have a moral obligation to treat their employees with respect and care. He shares examples from his own company, where he prioritizes the well-being of his team members. Ramsey argues that when employers invest in their employees, it creates a positive work environment and fosters loyalty. Ramsey emphasizes that treating employees well is not just a moral obligation, it also makes good business sense. When employees feel valued and supported, they are more likely to be productive and committed to their work. This can lead to lower turnover rates and a more successful organization overall. Ramsey discusses the psychological toll that debt can take on individuals and families. He explains that financial stress can lead to anxiety, depression, and relationship problems. The burden of debt can create a sense of hopelessness, making it difficult for individuals to envision a brighter financial future. Ramsey believes that addressing the emotional aspects of debt is just as important as tackling the numbers. By encouraging individuals to take control of their finances and work towards becoming debt-free, Ramsey aims to empower them to break free from the cycle of financial stress. He shares stories of people who have successfully paid off their debts and experienced a profound sense of relief and freedom. As the podcast concludes, Ramsey reflects on the future of the economy and the importance of individual responsibility. He believes that the actions of individuals and small business owners will ultimately shape the economic landscape. 
By making informed financial decisions and prioritizing responsible spending, individuals can contribute to a healthier economy.